These are some of the action movies made by Ramon Film Productions, Uganda's version of Hollywood called Wakaliwood, located in the sprawling slum of Wakaliga. These movies have registered runaway success on cyberspace, spurring a large fan base all over the world. Their first production, a movie titled Who Killed Captain Alex, and their second production, Tebat Sasula, have over 2 million views on YouTube, and their YouTube channel also has almost 15,000 subscribers. Alan Hoffman is now nicknamed Sally, is a resident of Long Island, New York, in the United States of America. He decided to move to Uganda and to take part in these low-budget films after just watching a clip on the internet. I'm in a bar in New York City, and they showed me an iPhone, just a clip for Who Killed Captain Alex, Uganda's first action movie. And it was just 90 seconds, the advert. And that was it. And, and I fell in love. And, and two weeks later, I came to Uganda. And I did not call. I did not email. What is this? I don't know. Some matoke, maybe some candy bars, you know. Are you stupid? <laughs> Me as the super trap. Down, down, down. Yeah. Right up. Do it. Hoffman, is, who is also an accomplished filmmaker, producer, and soundman, decided to settle in Uganda as he picked interest in Wakaliwood. He has featured in some of these films. Uh, so the impact is that, is that, is that there's this all this love that's happened, and, it's, and it keeps growing. You know, it's, it's big, it keeps growing, I keep learning more. But also what I think is going to happen is that this is going to inspire serious filmmakers. The founder of Wakaliwood and Ramon Films, Isaac Nabwana, says that his films have a cult following across the world. Uh, nowadays, uh, tourists come to, to Wakaliwood and they spend like uh, seven days here and uh, we provide also, you know, a, a, an opportunity for the uh, hotels around us, like Vinti, which is here, and Boom Motel and, Vin and Ivy's. They all get, you know, these, uh, these visitors from all over the world. We revealed that some tourists have taken part in these movies. Today, we found there are tourists from German, Belgium and Sweden at the shooting scene. Okay. Uh Okay, I said. Yeah. Set. Okay, I said. Okay, I said. But when they come here, they all want to die in a movie. And what we do is what we uh, what we're doing now is we uh, we decided to come out with a movie called Wakaliwood versus Rest of the World. Uh, no one escapes Wakaliwood. It was the first time, and it was my first time dying as well. Um, so it was pretty fun. It's it's exhausting. It's uh, hot over here, but. It's so much fun shooting with these people and shooting movies they love. Okay. The guests are also usually entertained by an improvised music band comprised of children. As the fan base of Wakaliwood continues to grow, the makers of these movies are keen to gain attraction among his fans who have been glued to the much acclaimed Hollywood and Nollywood films. For the many people taking part in these low-budget films, their passion supersedes the horizon and their aspirations are for greater things in life and maybe appearing in some of the movies in Hollywood. Suhail Mugabe, NTV, Weekend Edition.